you know, I'm, we've got a lot of, so can I just see hands? Who, we've got a lot of students here. Wow, this place is packed. Yeah, a lot of students here, probably half the room. We should hear from them. Who, and how many um, students are interested in journalism? That's two. <laughs> Raised well, I see. Um, you know, peop, people, people look at you and... Uh, I, don't, I agree that I'm probably not doing the best job selling it right now. <laughs> We're, we're going to turn the corner, I, I promise you. We're this turning is, the I'm usually a lot more pro, you know, yeah. everything. I literally just got off the plane. This um, was a very tough reporting trip. I mean, this, this, is a, this is a horrible experience. It was just really, it was just, the grief was overwhelming. And I'm sure if I'd crossed the, I'm sure if any journalists were allowed into Gaza from Israel, it'd be, it would, it'd be horrible too. I mean, it's just a horrible experience. Well, but that, I mean, that's an excellent question. I mean, for people who are, under, you know, interested in how, journalists do their job, how much of the time you're working with partial information because you can't get to the place that you might really want to be to see what's happening with your own eyes. Yeah. Um, and so it creates this additional layer of, this additional burden yeah. for, for what your job is while you're there um, and what you come away with. Are you, when, are you going back? So, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't had time to talk to uh, my bosses. I'd like to go back. Yeah. yeah. But we, we, I mean, we do, we reported on what was going on in Gaza in various ways. We, I would interview people in Gaza. We would, um, at least uh, we had a couple reporters that I, I would have a piece from Gaza um, every show. Uh, not a Bashir, who was often in Jordan, and Salma Abdelaziz, who was often in London, would file pieces. Usually there are Piece, uh, reporters working for us or working for services um, who would get us footage and we would report on them. There were a few Americans trapped in Gaza whose stories we were constantly bringing. Thank God they, they uh, I forget if it was today or yesterday because it's all running together in my head, but they got out. Uh, they just got out. Uh, I don't know how many of you watch my show, but for anybody who does, Aboud uh, and um, his sister Hanin got out and their families, they finally got out. And it was just like such a relief because once sometimes you feel, you tell the story of somebody and then you know that you can actually do more than just tell their story. You can actually call people at the State Department and call people at the National Security Council and you know some people like that are in special forces and doing stuff and like, here's their passport, here's their number, here's their name, please do what you can to get them out. And you know, I did this in for Kabul too, a couple of years ago, because you know you're a person also, and anyway they got out. 